It is the first day of the new Park It Forward program in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Visitors are now required to have a parking pass if they plan to stay longer than 15 minutes. Elizabeth Sims took a trip to the Smokies to get an answer to one question. Why start the passes now? Starting March 1st, anyone who wants to stop for more than 15 minutes in the Great Smoky Mountains will need a parking tag on their car. Depending on which one you buy, it will cover you for a day, a week, or a year. Park officials are clear though, this is not an entrance fee. All the roads in the park remain toll free, so we do not have an entrance fee. So motorists who are simply passing through or enjoying one of our many scenic drives, which is a very popular activity in the park, they don't need a parking tag. But many are still wondering, why now? Let's break this down. In 2021, the Great Smoky Mountains was the most visited national park with more than 14 million visitors. The park said that's more than Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Grand Canyon National Parks combined. Out of these four parks, the Smokies is the only one that doesn't charge visitors to enter. The fees at Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Grand Canyon are good for a week and cover general admission. On the other hand, roads in the Smokies are free to drive year-round. While these parks have similar yearly budgets, in 2021, the Great Smoky Mountains still lagged behind the rest despite having more than three times the visitors. That's where the parking tags come in. 100% of the revenue collected through this program stays right here in the Smokies and will benefit visitors. Everything from trail maintenance to road maintenance to cleaning our restrooms more frequently, picking up waste on the roadside. So why now? The park said it's to protect the Smokies today for generations to come. Elizabeth Sims reporting for us. You can learn more about the parking tags and how to buy them right now at WBIR.com. Just head to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park section once again at WBIR.com.